In this video, I'll show you how to design professional podcast artwork using a free online website called Canva. Hey guys, my name is Ashley from PodPros, and this is the channel where I teach you how to podcast. So if you want to learn podcasting, make sure you subscribe for new videos every single week. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to design professional podcast artwork using Canva, which is a free website. I'll leave a link to it in the description. So let's go ahead and jump onto my computer so I can show you how to design your podcast artwork. Let's just go ahead and head over to the Canva website. I'll leave a link to it in the description, even though it's just canva.com. And we're going to be using Canva to create our podcast artwork. So to create an account, I'll just go ahead and enter in my name and then tell us what you do. I'll just say I'm a, start, um, a startup slash blog or just a small business. Basically, I'm just a podcaster that is basically in that category. And I'm just going to use Google to make it simpler. And then I'll just log in with my Google account. Now I'll enter in my password and click next. So now it's giving us a whole bunch of options um, for basically designs that we could create. Now we're trying to create podcast artwork and all of these designs have their custom dimensions. So a logo would be smaller than a Facebook post and a Facebook post would be smaller than a flyer. Now, to get the podcast artwork dimensions, that's just basically how big it is. I'm just going to go ahead and just like type it into Google podcast artwork dimensions. It's saying it could be a minimum of 1,400 times 1,400 and a max of 3,000 times 3,000. So I'm just going to use 1,400. I'm just going to type in the link and then just make it go to canva.com. So I'll just delete that. So now it's just going to take me to canva and now i'm logged into my account so what i want to design maybe they actually have the podcast artwork dimensions already in no there aren't so i'm just gonna um do create a custom size and now type in 1400 by 1400 create a new design all right so i have my design opened up in canva so what I like to do when designing podcast artwork is actually get inspiration. So what I would do is type in what kind of podcast I have and then podcast artwork. So let's say my podcast is on food. I basically interview people and they share their best recipes and then maybe experiences that they've had um, with those recipes, something like that. So let's just say my podcast is called Food Friends. I'm just going to type in into the search bar food podcast artwork so I can get some inspiration for some food podcast artwork, what they basically look like. So if I go to images, let's see, love food, food trucker school. Let's hope that food friends actually isn't a podcast. So we have food heels right here. Let's see. We have the business cuisine. We have food for thought. We have school thing or social thinking. I don't think that has anything to do with food. We have all the table. That looks nice. I like something like this. I think it looks really like professional. So there are a couple websites that you can use to find free royalty free images. And that means these are images that you can use in your podcast artwork without having to attribute the artist of the image or in this case, the photographer of the image. And you can use them and you don't have to pay a dime. So I'll show you two websites. The first one is called pexels.com and I'll leave a link to both of them in the description and then another one is called unsplash.com. Now I actually like unsplash more because I feel like the images look professional and it looks like there's more like professional photographers. Now pexels is more like stock photos so I would use pexels if you're like um, trying to create a business website but I'll just go ahead and look up food on both of them and then whichever one or whichever picture I like the most I'll just end up using that one. So pexels you can see 5.55 thousand photos on food. And then we have 61,000 photos on Unsplash. So I'm just going to just scroll down Pexels first to see if I find anything. My podcast is Food Friends. And something else to keep in mind is when you're looking at the dimensions of the photos, um, remember that the dimensions are going to be different than the dimensions. The dimensions basically is just like this and this. 
so just keep in mind if we take a look at this one you can see these dimensions are obviously different this one is um wider than this one if i was to go ahead and download this and then if i wanted to bring it in canva i would just go to uploads and then upload an image and then drag that right here and it's just going to upload but if I was just go to go ahead and use this, um, like I saying, the dimensions is different. This image is way wider. So if I just go ahead and pressed it and imported it into this project and I just slided it up, you could see not all of it is going to fit because it looks way different. But I actually like this because it's kind of like a frame. So I'm just going to leave this part out since it doesn't have it on the left side right here. So it's just going to feel off. So I'll leave it like this and let's see, I'll leave it like right here and I'll actually put it like right here. And so now I'm just going to go ahead and add some text by going to the text tab and pressing T. It's just going to add some text and I'm just going to type in food and I think I want to have it like this. So food friends. And I want them, I want the, I, like this needs to be way bigger first off. So I'm just going to go to where um, the sizes are and I'm going to choose, let's see, 88. Let's drag this out. And I'm going to change the font to be something a little different. Let's try this one. Let me see what the font actually looked like in this podcast. So it looked like bold. So I want something like that. I'm going to change the spacing or the alignment and make it on the left i like that way more and i'm gonna drag it up a lot so now the font is a lot bigger and i'm going to put it about right here and let's see if i could change the spacing i'm gonna change the height and make it a little bit smaller in um, the height size and I'm going to change the font color to make it white because I think I like it more white yeah I like that a lot more so I'm just going to move it and try to center it a little more okay so the next thing that I'm going to do so I'm going to look back at this podcast artwork and it says with Jesse Johnson so that's the person's name at the bottom so at the bottom of this one I'm going to add some more text and I'm going to add with Ashley Pierre. And I'm going to make that white. I'm also going to change that text. I don't know if I'm going to be using this font, but I'm just using it for now. And then I'm going to make it all fit in one line. And I'm going to drag that. And people definitely won't be able to see that. So I'm going to make it 42. Um, I'll make it 80 and at the bottom you don't always have to have your host name at the bottom you can actually if you have a website you can actually put that at the bottom too that's just an option and I like that so I'm gonna have it how did they have it in there see I I like using people people's as examples cuz I always go back to them so honestly I actually kind of like this font to be honest um, let me actually drag it up a little bit so there's more room for this and we'll put this no I think this should go here so I think I'm finished with the text just the alignment the spacing and everything I'm not completely satisfied but I think that'll do for now and the fact that this is just imaginary and this isn't actually an actual podcast really uh, it just shows I really shouldn't stress about it. And I'm just going to save the font. It kind of has like a playful feel. So it kind of gives like, you know, friends is in the title. And with the playful font, you kind of get the feeling that you're friends a little more than if it was like a serious font. So that's why I like this font. And I'll just keep it like this for now. So I just want to show you guys a couple other things that you can do in Canva when you're designing your podcast artwork. So now I'm going to just show you guys around Canva a little bit and show you um, some other stuff that you can do. So if I go to elements, what's really cool is that Canva has a whole bunch of free photos, grids, shapes, charts, lines, frames, illustrations, icons, and other stuff like this that you can use, which is just great. 
so i'm going to show you something really fast so if i go ahead and go to shapes and then just go ahead and click all and if i click on the square something that's really cool and people actually don't talk about is if i drag this square to cover the whole entire frame and go ahead and click on it and click on position and position it behind the text but on top of the actual image and then i change the transparency i can actually change the transparency of the image a little bit so if i change the color of this shape remember i dragged a square white shape if i change the transparency to be black then i can make the transparency of the image to be black so if i wanted um the background to be kind of red i can change it to be red to be pink to be purple to be blue to be orange so that is something that you could do now i would just recommend using something as simple as black so it will make like it will make this food friends with ashley pierre it just makes the text stand out more because you can read it better if i was to go ahead and just take this and just put the transparency on zero so you don't see it at all see this is the difference it makes now for this i think i'll just leave it i think i'm just gonna leave it on zero because i don't really even think i want it so this is the object you see me dragging it oops i just dragged the text but the object i was just dragging right here i'm just gonna go ahead and delete it because i don't want it in my project but that's something that you guys can do if you ever wanted to kind of change the opacity or the transparency of your background image another thing is that canva already has a whole bunch of free photos that you guys can use you see, all of these photos are completely free for you to use in your projects. And like I said before, you can also use websites pexels.com and unsplash.com. They're really cool free resources that you guys can use for picking photos for any project that you might be working on. Another thing is that Canva also has a whole bunch of backgrounds you guys can use too. So if you actually didn't want your background to be like a stock photo, you can just use one of these backgrounds. And the thing is, I like stock photos because in a way I feel like it makes it more professional. But you can use backgrounds if you want. Whatever makes you feel like your podcast is professional and makes you comfortable posting it is basically what you should use as your podcast artwork. Now you guys can do all of this completely free with the free version of Canva with the free account. And once you're done, what you can go ahead and do is go ahead and press this download. And I would press the PNG so you could change it to a jpg and then just press download and it's going to say it's preparing your design and then it's going to download so if we go ahead and click on it and you can see right here i have my podcast artwork food friends with ashley pierre make sure to go to the description to find a free download link to a free pdf guide on the best podcasting equipment for 2019 I go in-depth into different microphone setups you can get for different budgets, all the way from $0 to like $175, different options for each price point that you might be in. So make sure to go to the description for a link to the free PDF guide. So that's how you design your podcast artwork. If you have any questions, remember to go to the comments and leave them there and I'll answer them. Anyways, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more weekly videos on podcasting. I'll see you in the next video. And this has been Ashley from PodPros.